Ahoy there fellow farmers, whether you're a seasonal angler or just dipping your toes in the waters of Stardew Valley, you've come to the right place. Today we are diving deep into the art of fishing, uncovering 8 pro tips that will turn you into master of the angling arts. So let's start off with tip number 8. Pay attention to time, weather, location and seasons. As most Stardew Valley players know, different fish are active at different times. Some only come out in the rain others can only be caught during certain seasons. Ocean, lakes and rivers are all home to different creatures. If you are looking for specific species, it's important to understand their patterns and know when and where they will appear. Tip number 7 is to upgrade the fishing rod. Unlike other tools such as the axe or watering can, the fishing rod isn't upgraded by having an expert work on it. Rather, you can simply buy a higher tier rod once you reach certain levels in the fishing skill. Each of these are available at Willy's shop by the ocean. We have the bamboo rod which Willy will give this to the player for free when you're a few days into the game. Fiberglass rod is available for 1800 gold starting once the player reaches fishing level 2. This option allows you to add bait. And last we have the iridium rod. Willy will stock this rod once you reach fishing level 7. It allows you to use both bait and the tackle. A tip number 6 is to craft wild bait. Once you have upgraded from the basic rod it's always a good idea to use bait when fishing. However there's a better option available than the basic bait craft from bug me. If you befriend your local nature man, Linus, he'll teach you his recipe for wild bait. Wild bait has a much higher bite rate than the regular bait, cutting down on the time that players spend waiting for a tug on their fishing line. It's crafted from slime, fiber and bug meat so be sure to save these materials to make tempting treats for the fish. A tip number 5 is to choose the right tackle. Once you obtain the iridium rod, you can attach tackle to your fishing rods in addition to bait. However, not every tackle option is equally useful. The barbed hook is among the less effective in my opinion as it only works with the fish that are already easy to catch. Some of the better options include the ones below. So we got the cork bobber. This increases the size of the fishing bar, essentially raising the player's fishing level. This is especially useful at lower fishing levels when the bar is smaller. Then we have the trap bobber. One of the best tackle options, this handy gizmo will decrease the speed at which a fish escape. In other words, when the fish is not inside the green bar, the rate at which the catch meter drops will be slower. So this allows you a better chance at catching the fish before the meter runs out. Last we have the quality bobber, used for players with a high fishing skill who don't need much assistance reeling one in. The quality bobber is a good choice. It doesn't make it any easier to catch fish, however it does increase the quality of whatever the player reels in. For players looking to make money off of fishing, this is a really good rod. A tip number 4 is to cook skill boosting recipes. Several recipes including fish, particularly those that Willy sends you in the mail can be used to temporarily raise your fishing skill. This increases the size of the fishing bar, making it easier for players to reel in their catch. Even players who have maxed out their fishing skill can benefit from taking these along on their fishing expeditions, especially if they're hoping to catch tougher fish or perhaps even legendary fish. So be sure to cup up these dishes in bulk. Starting off with number one, we got the trout soup, which gives plus one to your fishing skill. Second, we have maple bar, which gives you plus one. We got chowder, which gives you plus one. We got a shrimp cocktail that gives you plus one. We got an escargot that gives you plus two. We got a fish taco, which gives gives you plus two. We got a fish stew, which gives plus three. We got dish of the sea, which gives plus three. We got lobster bisque that gives plus three and we got seafoam pudding with a whopping plus four to your fishing skill. That is crazy. Tip number three is to control casts with the movement keys. Most Stardew Valley players know the basics of casting their fishing line. Highlight the fishing rod, hold down the use tool button and then release it to cast, right? No big deal, it's pretty easy. However, not everyone knows that it's possible to carve the cast slightly to the right or left. You can use the movement keys during the brief moment between releasing the button and the moment the line lands in the water. This will skew the cast sliding in their respective direction, allowing you to have better control over where their line ends up. Such control comes in especially handy considering the next tip. At tip number two we have looking for bubbles. 
Occasionally, a patch of bubbles will appear in the ocean, lake or other water in which you can fish. Whenever these appear, you should try your best to cast your line into these bubbles. Doing so provides a number of benefits. 1. Being fish bite way faster. 2. Being trash is less likely to appear. And 3. Higher difficulty fish are more common. You will know when you have cast into the right spot when you see blue sparkles appear above where your line lands in the water. Using the above method of directing a cast is especially helpful when trying to land these bubbles. At tip number one is to become really, really patient. I mean it. Just be patient. One doesn't become a great fisherman overnight. Many of you won't be able to catch a link, cod, or sturgeon right away. Rather, you'll probably work your way up by reeling in sunfish and herring most of the time. Most skills in Stardew Valley require some amount of grinding to become truly useful, and fishing is no exception. For players to really improve their fishing skills and reel in valuable catches, you will need to dedicate several in-game days to standing at the edge of the water, fishing rod in hand. Though it may be one of the slower moving skills to raise in Stardew Valley, but fishing will pay off eventually. Just be patient guys. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to help me reach 1000 subscribers as it would really help boost this video to more people. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next 